Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up VS Code for Python programming. Um, it's a very simple and very easy, VS Code being my favorite text editor uh, so far. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to set it up on your Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do, uh, if you haven't done it already, is make sure your Raspberry Pi is up to date. You can do that by typing in the command line, sudo apt update and then i'm going to do it all on the same command you can do the double end sign and put sudo apt upgrade and the hyphen y so you can already accept it and just press enter i already did mine uh before because it takes a minute to 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 update everything uh so go ahead and get that done and once it's done from there it's pretty cake uh, you just to install v VS Code, it's sudo apt install code. I, of course, I already did it when I was going over and make sure I knew all the steps. Um, but that's how you install VS Code on your Raspberry Pi. And you will see it here on the Visual Studio Code. Or you can also open it by just typing code on your terminal. It will open VS Code. Uh, now, when you're here, it's um you can go ahead and go to the extensions tab which is um where all the extensions of course are going to be located at i already installed python and c and c plus plus which are the languages i use the most but if for whatever reason you don't see it right in the front it, you can always just look it up and just to type python on the search bar and you'll see it there you can just press the install button and you'll be good to go it'll be ready to go uh, now, once you have the Python install, Raspberry Pi already comes with um, Python. So you can always just confirm by typing Python double hyphen put version. And so see, uh, at the moment of recording this video, right now the Python that's installed is 3.11.2. So... Uh, you don't have to do anything other than just make sure you install that Python extension and you'll be good to go. Um, so now let's go ahead and close VS Code for now. And we're going to create a new folder. Let's call it in this case, let's just call it uh, tutorial. Tutorial. Press OK. And then I'm going to right click, put open with. And I'm going to go to programming and use oh, what happened? Visual Studio Code. Press OK. And what that does is it opens up Visual Studio Code in that folder. Uh, just go ahead and just put yes, trust the author. And if you notice, we have the folder right here. And this is to try and keep everything organized. We open it like that to keep all the project contained. And you can do basically everything from VS Code now. So you open your terminal, just click terminal, and you're going to be inside the, the folder project. Um, and you can actually make a new file. Let's just make main.py. There you go. Uh, now, lastly, once you set up um, your project folder, I mean, you have your, your file, uh, you're going to want to create a virtual environment. So how do we create a virtual environment? It's pretty simple. Just make sure you're in your folder, your project folder. And the command is going to be python3 hyphen m bnb. And then the name of your um, that you're going to want to name your virtual environment. In this case, we're going to call we call the folder tutorial. Let's just call this one test the virtual environment. I'll call it test. Now, if you notice, it want to go ahead and create it the virtual environment right here. This is where you have all your stuff um, for your environment. But all it did is create it. Now we want to activate it. The way you activate it. It's going to be with the command source. We'll call it the name. Of, we'll do the name of the environment. In this case, we called it test uh, slash bin slash activate. Go ahead and press enter. And if you notice something changed in your terminal and you now have the name of the environment prefixed. And that's what tells you that you successfully activated the virtual environment. Now you're able to install uh, anything you want inside. Now, as long as you have this bef before the username, 
you're you know you're inside the virtual environment so for example if you want to install kiwi which is a uh, open source uh, gui in python very similar to take enter you can do put pip install kiwi and it's going to go ahead and look for that first if we do import kiwi you see that import kiwi could not be resolved but if you notice the terminal is do, putting in some work right now and it's going to go ahead and get it installed for us um, if you do control shift p or you can just go to the gear and put command palette put reload window and once it reloads you're able to you can see that now kiwi should be installed See, Kiwi Framework. Kiwi is an open source library for developing multi-touch applications and all that. Um, so there you go. That's how you do a virtual environment and you set up your project for uh, Python development. Um, to run something, let's just put print and let's do hello world. To run it, it's very simple. Just put Python 3. And that's we called it main.py. Now, before I run it, I know I didn't save it, so just go ahead and put control S to save it. And there you go, hello world. So that's pretty much it. Now, um, I do want to encourage everyone to also install this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. I will be making future videos about with uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, projects and using what we call micro Python and maybe some C. Uh, so I encourage everyone to also install this one and that way you can follow along on my future videos. Um, so uh, please stay tuned and subscribe so you can enjoy those videos as much as I enjoy making them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.